What's up? This is Mary J with Blow It Out Radio. Yo, and this your man, the most hot man, Major. And you listening to Blow It Out Radio. Rolling up, let's get it, fade it up. Yeah, you know what we talking about. Blow it out radio. Blow it out radio. Always coming with that loud pack. Blow it out radio. Yeah. You do have something to say. It, it, I mean, we all have something to say. The fact is, it's like who's listening? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to figure out why is this concept of. <laughs> You know, dishonesty, deceit, and thievery, and you know what I'm saying? Shenanigans. Why are we living in an era where that is seems to be the the narrative? And there's a lot of things that play into, you know, that play that factor in there. Like the Fat White Challenge. Yeah, I mean Kanye before they took his brain. You know, he said it best, you know, they made us love their wealth and hate ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Or else why would we do that? But I think really it's programming. A lot of that shit comes from the TV because people are fake as fuck on TV. You know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate though that like Bow Wow couldn't say like, you know, I have a daughter to support so I'm being reasonable. I'm a small enough star where I can actually get on Southwest and nobody really knows who I am right. at least not to the extent where I'm going to be bothered and so I mean I think from a security standpoint if you can get on Southwest for $200 and nobody's going to bother you I think it's time for those types of things to change and nobody to look down on anybody because yeah. so what it saves $200 why does he yeah, need to pay more matter. to go to the same place it doesn't matter he you can know. spit it on somebody no, no, I can see if you're doing things in your lifestyle that you that you just really enjoy. But at what point do you kind of take an accountability for what you're really doing and what you're really doing to others? Because we all got to coexist here together. You know what I'm saying? Would you? And if you take the mindset of would you really want somebody to do that to you? Would you, for real, want somebody to, for real, play you upside down when you really thinking that this is this or that's that? No, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. You know what I'm saying? And then people get on TV, and then this is all that they show. There's people backstabbing one another. Motherfuckers deceitful to one another. Oh, these motherfuckers cheating on this one. This person cheating on this person. And I think it's a sick energy that you that people can get from doing that kind of type of shit and it's you know what i'm saying it's a condition like but i'm glad to know that like there are people that are are reaching for a higher level of consciousness and are striving for that and want that i don't really know how to i don't know what to say for people that don't feel that way because i've always had a consciousness inside of me that told me if something wasn't right and then that feeling pulls on you so hard that you just change i don't know what makes somebody want to continue to go you know maybe programming yeah that's what i say it's programming and you know a mindset you know what i'm saying it's a philosophy and and it's it's really it boils down to just cowardice you know what i'm saying because if you can't be honest about who you are then you're just being a coward just straight up simple and plain you know what i'm saying if you have to hide and be in the closet and shit about what you're doing then you're doing something wrong period and i don't care those are just the laws of nature you know what i'm saying if you really are who you are then be who you are and own that shit the problem is People are seeing things, like you said, in their program to think this is something that they like. And then when they get something that they think they like, they're not really willing to deal with the dynamic that goes along with the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? They just like enjoy the, the action for the moment. But for every action, there's an equal reaction. You know what I'm saying? This is physics. So for everything that you do, you know what I'm saying? For everything that you do to somebody, it's going to come back. And people don't have to believe that or not. 
but it's gonna come back in some way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? And until we just realize that that's not the way to do things with one another, it's deceit is not the way, like trickery and fakery and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You still end up looking stupid at the end of the day because it's a, it's a, it's there's a consciousness growing of people who are just saying, you know what? I'm unapologetic about who I am. Either love me or leave me the fuck alone, period. You know what I'm saying? But you're not going to fucking trick me into thinking that I'm some kind of fucking uh, pin cushion or a, a pun dummy or you know what I'm saying? No. You know what I'm saying? Because people aren't going for that no more. People are not going for that. If deceit is not going to work in the Aquarian age, this is the age of information. And with information, it comes lies, but also it comes truth. And the truth resonates. That's why people are more and more people are starting to see, man, that whole shit is played out. You know, have a, have a whole tendencies. That's no badge of respect now. You know what I'm saying? Anybody could be a hoe. I'm just keeping it real. It's hard to be a queen that's really, you know what I'm saying, knows her place in this whole dimension. And and, and it, that works in, in both perspectives. It's hard for us to be kings when we have not had examples of, of, of motherfuckers showing us nothing but the opposite. You know what I'm saying? We've seen us, we've been told we're slaves, we've been told we're this, we've been told we're super predators, we've been told we're the worst thing on the planet, we've been told we're, you know what I'm saying, undesirable. We, and in actuality, that's the exact opposite. You know what I'm saying? We're the most sought after people on the earth and they know that, you know what I'm saying? good, bad, or indifferent, we have to accept the fact that a lot of people is living in the world of illusions, and that was that dimension that we're leaving now. So as you notice now, all the illusions are starting to come off, so if you think you're finna pull some kind of illusion off on, on the gods, think again, because that's not what it is, you know what I'm saying, and that's not what's going to happen, because with the speed of thought, God speak and remove the false from you. You know what I'm saying? And they would just, that that front will crumble like a fucking vase. Just like I saw this, the little young dude who came in reeling with the strap the other day, cocking the pistol and all of this kind of stuff. He come in, you know what I'm saying, wearing his heart on his sleeve. But you know, when you stand up and you face somebody who is, Golly, I'm not perfect now. Well, yeah, I am perfect. I'm not even going to say that. I'm perfect. And anybody who don't accept me and my perfect imperfections, then motherfucker. But back to what I was saying, this little dude came in here talking about he's facing life. He's facing terrible situation. And he's cocking a pistol talking about he's ready to kill people. And this and that. So my first question is, but bro, why, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like that, then why did you come in here? You know what I'm saying? Because no, none of us feel like that in here. We just sitting down having a conversation. So to make a long story short, man, I have to stand up, put my hands on this young man, and tell him, listen, man, maybe you ain't heard this in a long time, but I love you. You know what I'm saying? And I want you to love you. And when he asked me who I was, I told him I'm God. The most high. And you know what? He stepped back and looked at me and said, God, God forgot about me. I was like, nah, you know, God can never forget about you. Because you know what? You're God too. You just don't realize it. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been fed so much negativity. And then they come at you with some real shit. You don't know how to handle it. You know what I'm saying? You start. You know what I'm saying? When people are real, they don't, you know, they... But you know what? It talked him all the way down to the point this nigga in a, started trying to hug me and some more shit and then they start crying and having a moment. But it just goes back to this dude came in with a front. You know what I'm saying? He came in wearing a mask uh, with liquor goggles. But you facing, you facing this nigga without a mask. You know what I'm saying? But I got an iron gold comedic soul. You know what I'm saying? So 
instead of scrubbing like the old version of myself would have done as an elder in the community I don't really like to see my see myself as an elder but as a whatever they want to call it an OG or someone who has put in his time in that business it's my job to school him it's not my, my, my job to ridicule him or punish him further because he's already been punished <laughs> enough you know what I'm saying it's not my job to punish you it's my job to school you you know what I'm saying it's my job to try to raise you up you know what I'm saying and, and that just goes for anybody that you surround if they not trying to raise you up if they you know what I'm saying if when you start telling the truth and the fucking cover comes off no matter who it is you have to disassociate yourself because that's a part of love too you have to love yourself enough to not be sucked in by someone who don't love you as much as you love them 